Character development is something that maybe I can say that I've had a strong, firm grip of for a long time, but have never really been able to push from beginning to end on things. Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. This might be a little bit confusing as a startup, but what I'm trying to get at is basically this. I, in my life, as I've said at points in times in these kind of videos before, I've started stories, I've progressed in stories, but I've never really, truly, properly finished stories that I personally started creating. Whether it's like the Beer Belly Bob situation, partway through, but it's still on writer's block, I guess you could say. Um, even with any of the co-workers, the co people I was co-editing with. Yep, yeah, just writer's block. Same thing with books I've written, like Flows Like the Wind, uh, which is the current one I'm working on personally on my own right now, and I'm on writer's block, so I've been on writer's block for long enough to where it's like, I'm going to have to go back and reread what I've already done to get an idea of where I need to be next. The characters that have been developed are the same way. Characters I've created like Thing. Thing has been partially developed, but it's gotten to the point where, like, he's been thrown left and, well, left and right and up and down and just in and out and all that kind of stuff, but he's never really been properly created to be one specific thing. And whenever I get close to that, I just get paused for one reason or another and he'd be stuck in a loop again. Another character that has gone that I've created that's gone through kind of the same kind of purgatory outside of Bob and Thing is actually, believe it or not, Karen. Karen, yes, is kind of supposed to be this character that's supposed to represent me making fun of the idea of Karen's existing and the stereotype of teenage girls. Specifically the stereotype. It's I want to create some kind of background for these characters, every character I develop, but most of them just sit in a purgatorial loop of having not much. Yes, they have IRL backgrounds, like why the character was created in the first place, but most of them don't really have inside stories of the character themselves rather than IRL backstories. They don't have character backstories, just IRL backstories. Which, as the creator of these characters, bothers the crap out of me. Now, I will give credit to where it's due. Bob and Thing were not entirely 100% created by me. I host the characters because I pretty much voice them, act out their motions and stuff, and at this point, I'm the only one who really presents them more than anybody else, these characters still are only partially developed. They, at, at the rate they're going, they always will be. But yes, giving credit where it's due, Life Adventures of Christian and Aaron here on the channel, who you guys have seen before, both helped me with Bob, and then some, one of my exes and a bunch of my ex-high school friends well, ex-friends, but friends from high school, helped me develop Thing. At this point, Thing has developed into something kind of different than what he was then. But even so, these characters were never fully developed into what I want them to be. Since they are technically characters that I play out, and I'm the only one who really still goes with them, it, it's kind of rough on me. For me, it's it's I, the thing I don't like about this is that I don't like seeing things half-assed. Many people have heard this before. Half-asked things, little. That's hard to say twice. Apparently for me, half-asked, asked. Now it doesn't even sound like the word. Anyway, um, half done. Let's just go with that. Um, jobs. Chores. Stories. Stories that I can bear with because I'll end up forgetting about them. But the characters themselves? Absolutely not. I'll use them for other personas of mine if I have to for future reference. 
some some individuals don't even know about. These characters, I can't leave them half done. Otherwise, it will bug the crap out of me. And I've talked about jobs and chores being this way, but characters are the same concept. If I were to lay out this new Karen character that I developed not too long ago, um, and just say, eh, that's good enough, it would bug the crap out of me for weeks. I look at this character right now and go, okay, what kind of story can I give this character? Why is this character the way they are, as the character itself? And I come up with these random stories in my mind, and there are different random variety versions of the stories. The one that hits the dot is the one that I think seeps in the deepest. The one that's most relatable. For example, Thing. Thing is the one who's come the closest to that kind of aspect. Thing is a character that started off dark. At the time, basically this crazy loco en la cabeza, crazy in the head for those who don't know what that means, um, character who just doesn't... He, 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 he used... When he was first developed, he was the kind of character who would find enjoyment in suffering. Why? I don't know. Because that's not really me. Because at the time he was created, I wasn't really the one who officially created the character. That wasn't the case until a few years back. Um, as of now, the character is somebody who's more intimate. And like the reason for this... Well, let's put it this way. Thing is probably the character that is closest to IRL me. In an intimate, pleasurable kind of way. The only difference is Thing is not exactly bound to a married couple ideal at this point. Thing is technically single, I guess you could say, so he's got one of those mindsets. Any of you who know what I mean, great. If not, don't worry about it. But that's kind of my point. Thing is probably the one who's come the closest to relate to others because of that little detail. Because that detail, it made it very easy for me to go, well, I know this many people who have gone through this path, and the similarities between all of them are this, this, and this. So that will be his story. Fill in the blanks in between, and these are the problems that he's endeared. And there you go. Thing is developed except for one teeny tiny little problem. There are still little blanks every now and then for me to go, how am I supposed to fill in this hole? And every time I get to that point and find something to fill in the hole, it'll deplete some of the other stuff that had already been there. Character development is not quite set in stone for those who might think so. At least for me. Thing is a good example of this because he's, as I said, it's come the closest. Bob, well, let's put it this way: it's the same concept. Bob's come. Bob is second in line on that kind of front. A character was developed. The background is, the idea is created, but the presentation for why this idea exists is where it becomes difficult. So Bob's backstory technically is there. But it's not said. Not that I can recall, at least. I don't know, I've used Bob so many times for so many different crazy situations that I don't know. Either way around, though, I don't know, that's, this is kind of my ideals. The characters I create, I want to create a full-fledged story for every single one of them, but it becomes difficult. So I don't know. I guess you could say something's in the works in my head all the time because of that. But this is just kind of me going on a tangent on what I feel about this. For those of you who stuck around to the end of this video, thanks for watching. If you liked me talking about this for some weird reason, I don't know if I would like that, but I don't know if you liked it, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore, share out the video, and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. I do live stuff like this every single day alongside a gaming video, whether it's humorous first-time playthrough, or whatever. 
Click the links on the side of my head if you want to check out any other live stuff I've done, or the link down below to check out the channel itself, or the one that's like right here. In the meantime though, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video once again, and I hope to see all of you in another one. Bye for now.